guys and good morning sa inyo lahat and welcome back to another morning, tournament and actually this is the last major na meron tayo for this year this is tally major and group stage uh i mean nasa first day pa lang tayo ng group stage natin this is the best of two series between execration and invictus gaming so um sa ngayon back to morning person style let 10 a.m lahat magsisimula ng series and apat na series yung meron tayo today so oh, until 5 30 5 last year so baka hanggang mga 8 p.m abutin tayo dito morning. or 9 p.m but at least ngayon, hindi na natin kailangan magpuyat. So normal na oras naman yung sinusunod natin ngayon. But anyway, Execration and Invictus Gaming, atong teams na ito parehas. Wala sila during Game right. Week. And ayun yung last tournament na napanood natin. So we don't have any idea kung paano ba yung magiging playstyle nila dito. Yung, yung Execration, kasali sana sila sa Dream League. Pero yun nga, Please. nagkaroon tayo ng visa issues. So bawi na lang sila this major. And actually, Execration, ito na yung pangatlong major nila. And up until now, hindi pa rin sila nakakapasok ng playoffs. So, tignan natin kung ito na ba yung major para sa execution. No, but looking at the heroes right now, we have Becky, Stoom, and Clinks for uh, Exe. And for uh, the side of Invictus Gaming, it's gonna be Enchantress, Medusa, and Spirit Breaker. And we charge on the fourth pick. So, andito na agad yung uh, strong sleeping hero natin for IG. We already have the Medusa and right now, wala naman tayo nakikita ang answer yet for execution. Uh, parang oh, I don't know kung hindi ba nila inexpect next nice second pick to no IG parang binigay na lang yata to the executions and they're gonna go for Naga Silent on the fourth pick so for this game I mean uh, for the Naga pwede siyang kumuha ng uh, Diffusal Blade if he wants parang okay naman na siya parang worth na siya kunin on the Sapling Heroes since yung Diffusal Blade you, pwede you, naman siya really upgrade you really gotta pick a hero you got 10 seconds left disperser yata yung tag I um, forgot you, you, you better pick your hero 5 seconds but looking at the heroes of Execration, we have Clinks on the support, so this might be their pause for Pedin Pause 5 Tech is going nila. And uh, based Ready on their timings, mas shadow silang late compared to IG. Like you have Naga Siren who needs a lot of farm. Same goes for the Doom. Depending on kung ano magi item build niya for this team. And like for IG, well, they do have the Medusa oh, na puro farm na naman yung gago in early on. But you have the Visage to easily push out to your uh, objectives. You have the Spirit Breaker who can uh, just rotate on any side of the map. So for execution on the last pick, mo kailan nila na mid hero na kaya ng kumalaw on the map. And uh, for IG, I think we're also looking for their mid hero. Oh man, Rick, there's only yeah, 10 seconds left to pick a hero. Like, wait, lang check ala. <laughs> yeah, five seconds left now. Di ko kaya lang siyono mid. I I think siyempre yata yata yung mid para na IG. Ah, si Shang Yu in check na hindi mainin. By the way, guys, sabang nakalive yung Execration and Invictus Gaming. Nakalive din si Pauline ng game ng Team Liquid vs Shopify. Oh, so, bahala na lang kayo pumili ko ng series yung gusto nyo panoorin. Apat na series yung sabay-sabay, pero dalawa lang kami. So, dalawang series lang yung nakalive yun seconds. sa Pacific Esports. So, pack will be banned out by IG and for execution, tinanggal na yung mga spirit heroes. Dire so, medyo na limit na yung mid heroes na available. And uh, for IG, well, sila naman unang kukuha. So, wala naman kulang dito for Invictus Gaming. Maybe some heroes to deal with the Naga Saren Solutions. Maganda sana yung spirit heroes dyan. But it's already banned out. Even yung Void Spirit, hindi ko na siya nakikita talaga sa mga games ngayon. Simula nung binago yung, yung, yung talent niya. Parang wala nang kumukod yung sigur na yun. Tinker is actually open but for Invictus Gaming, they're gonna go for Lush. And this is the one of the best answer against Naga Siren. You have AoE spell to deal with the illusion. So kailangan nyo ng pipe for execution. Naga Siren is gonna need Mage Layer. Ayun yung pang counter mo sa mga heroes with high magic damage. Uh, 10 seconds to pick your hero, you moron. Five seconds more. I will still have It'll a lot of reserve time for execution. So, I made here in Hinahanap natin for them, maybe someone to go with the song. So, right now, parang yung song for execution, parang pang out mo na sa fight in case na mag stone gaze man yung Medusa or pag andyan na yung Lesh. Actually, pwede rin pala siya pang set up. Meron pala tayong blast off from the text. Pero yun lang yung meron right now for execution. So, for our mid hero, 
ano pa bang pwede may pantapat sa lesh? Parang wala na yun. Naubos na yung mga common na mid hero. Hey, choose your hero. But for execution, we're gonna go for Primal Beast on the last pick. So, uh, Primal Beast for this game. Well, ito ang hinahin natin for execution. Someone to move around the map. So, Primal Beast is one of the best heroes in terms of rotation. Have a very long range onslaught. Okay, di naman siya to follow up with the Naga Siren. Pero to lane up against Lush, I think okay lang din naman yung Primal Beast even though you're up against range hero. Parang andun pa rin naman yung extra armor. You're still a tanky hero. And for the Lush, once mag miss yung stun niya dito, parang dun siya may hirapan against Primal Beast. So, kailangan niya mag-ingat in uh, using his spells. Pero tingnan natin, what we're having for this game, number one. Parang for both sides, okay yung late game timing nila parehas. Like, for IG, you have Medusa. Meanwhile, for Execration, oh, you man, have Naga Saren and Doom. Parang pagandahan na ng teamfight yung mangyari for this game. Yeah, five seconds left now. Depende kung gaano kaganda yung magiging lane dito for uh, Execration. Pero right now, sobrang free talaga ng Medusa. Parang for the Naga Siren, let's just say na pwede kang bumuo ng uh, Diffusal Blade to deal with the Mana Shield. Pero yung problema mo naman kasi dito talaga is yung Lesh. Na kaya i-clear out agad yung Illusions mo. Even yung Charge, yung Spirit Breaker, it is a lot of magic damage. Hi Kia, Giselle Rolancillo. Welcome back. Good morning. Ngayon, good morning na talaga yung bati ko eh, no? <laughs> Why they doing anything? Nung nakaraan, nung nakaraan, puro good evening. Pero ngayon, good morning na lang siya. Good afternoon yung magiging yung bati ko sa inyo lahat. Anyway, smoke play for both sides. Para sa matay na pag setup ng wards on the middle lane. Not sure if magkakaram matay na early attempt on the first blood. Pero doable naman to for both sides. Morty, I'm getting ready for the game to start in 30 seconds. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> so we do have the vision for execution. So we can see the position of the Invictus Gaming. I think the same goes for ID. They also have their server wards on the Who's opposite that side. The horn? So, mo, hindi naman yan na tayo magkakaroon ng early first guys. So, hash roll 2 for 2 trade-off lang naman on the bounties and back to the lanes. So, pause for clings. Ngayon ko na lang ulit makikita to. Parang hindi naman siya nausin nung Dream League eh, no? Yung Dream League Season 20. Si, parang nung first season ng Dream League, doon nausin yung clings support. Kasi hindi na siya ulit nagpakita. Pero as you can use this hero. Mahina ba yung sound sa Dota to? Feeling ko mahina siya. Not for you.
So yeah, na pa lang sobra dito si uh, Lesh. Kumasin damage yung lightning storm. So okay na okay siya to harass out enemy heroes, especially you're up against melee heroes. So you slow you just go the right clicks. Meanwhile, bottom lane. Medyo passive naman tong lane na to for execution. Like, it's... Naga Siren together with Techies, so Naga Siren, wala naman siya magagawa talaga early on. Siguro pag nagkaroon naman siya ng point on the end there, pero right now, parang more on farming, more on survival pa lang yung gagawin nila. And top lane, Mystic Snake connects on to Shanks and Dust with the Rikis. One more is all he needs and that's gonna be it. First shot goes into the hands of Dust. So, uh, napaka big deal nun for uh, IG. Yung Medusa yung nakakuha nung uh, first blood, that's a lot of gold for him. And knowing na Enchantress yung asami sa lane, hindi rin naman may hirapan yung lanes dito ng IG. So good start for Invictus Gaming. Shanks is finally back, pero QIQX is already level 2. Don't run off. Well, see, we're playing for two minutes, and looking at the last hits, Palos is doing good. Naman in the bottom lane against Visage and the Spirit Breaker. So, pan the same goes, din for IG. Like the heroes, they need their ultimate, especially Visage. Ano ba talaga yung power spike niya with the familiars? Looking at the last hits for our middle lane, malamang naman dito yung Lesh compared to the Primal Beast. So for Emo, it's gonna be fine. He already has the boots. Kailan niya lang talaga magingat din sa onslaught trample na meron yung Primal Beast. Siro pa tama yung stun kapag kaganon. Actually, pag wala hang stun, dun pa yung magtry yung Primal Beast. So you have to be careful. Well, wala pa rin man nangyari for this game. Sila 1k gold lead for Invictus Gaming. Masyadong passive yung game natin right now. Like for Execration, sobrang nalain sila sa farm. Same goes for IG. Still need their levels. Pero QYQX, trying to go for Shanks. He has this pineapple man. Kung ano man yung tawag doon sa YouTube. Pero bottom lane blast up on PYW and Palos. We'll get the right click and PYW goes down and Shang Yu with the chase will be able to take out Carlo pero Palos. Deep Tide is there and I think mas mabilis naman siya dito sa Visage. Still gonna try one more right click. I think di yata enough yun. Masyado makunat yung Visage. And uh, PYW is finally back so good kill for the Visage and for Palos. Doesn't have the illusion to uh, touch out this charge. It's gonna be fine. Still has to do this spell that's blocked to me. So one to five minutes and sobrang dikit pa rin naman ng laban. Pero lugi at yung heroes of IG, lahat naman ng lanes nila is na win out nila. Like they're getting decent farm, they're getting kills. So uh, we're gonna have a pause. Well, nagbag daw yata si uh, Shang Yu. I don't know. Pero wait out na lang natin tong uh, visage.
buti nga ngayon, hindi tayo nagkaroon ng problema for Valley Major. Unlike nung Lima Major na sobrang tagal bago nag-start yung mga series. Pero ngayon, on time naman nag-start lahat. So, hopefully, maaga tayo matapos for today. The middle towers under attack. Wait up. Well, we're getting close on the six minute mark, and I need to know when support at the middle lane. But on the two views on the QIQX, we have to block the lane for the slow and trample is available for Bob. So, uh, QIQX is gonna fall, and Bob will take that kill. But in power rune, it's really important for our mid hero. But Emo will try to contest the knowing Bob, who doesn't have any stress and doesn't have the mind to charge two views onto Shanks. We have to stun follow up for Emo with the Pulse Nova. Shanks goes down, but we can get the Carly in double damage in the bottom lane. So we don't have to do that for the Lesh. So back to 1k gold lead for IG and Palos is playing solo on the bottom lane. Okay lang naman to for the Nagen. Actually for Palos, later on, he's still jungle. Okay, Palos is We'll charge on to Palos and uh, Shang is taking a lot of damage on the illusion so we don't have to follow up on the Naga Silent. Actually, Carlo is trying to go for the Blast of on the Lugra. Sticky Bomb do connect. They had the slow Blast of Illusions but it's not going to make it much more than the PYW but Whoa, he has a double damage and the uh, movement speed. We don't have to for the techies. He has boots and like the Spirit Breaker. But he's gonna try to contest this Wisdom Rune and it will be taken by PYW. We do have the charge and Carlos is just gonna fall just like that. But Bob with the onslaught. Take the kill on to Shang Yu so we can get the trade off for execution. Even though they didn't have Wisdom Rune, at least for Bob he's gonna get that solo XP. So good rotation again on the Primal Beast. Jeez Morty, they're going after Tyre's bottom tower. Well, charge will be used on Carlo and Bob with another onslaught. This time he wants to go for Evo, but does he have the mana to go for Pulverize? Still needs 50 mana. So, medyo kapos dito si Bob na. They have the slow bash from PYW and you stun. It's not gonna be there. Carlo is there with the blast off and sticky bomb. I think it's gonna be enough to take out Emo. And uh, Bob still goes down with these two sports. So, much better trade off for IG and still they're not yet done. Charge onto Shanks this time in Petals. And Shanks will just go for the rise onto QYQX to be able to take out this Enchantress first. So, um, PYW is already level 6 at 8 minutes. Good start though for the supports. Very annoying talaga yung Spirit Breaker, lalo na pag nagbabash. Well, charge will be used on to Tino this time. They have the bash from PYW and the slow nether strike is still available. But Bob is here with Onslaught. Gets a stun on the 2 and PYW will use the nether strike instead on to the primal beast. So, hindi na nila try dito yung doom. Wala naman mamamatay for execution and for Bob. I think it's fine. Saglit lang naman yung cooldown ng spells niya. Hindi pa ako bosses ngayon kasi meron ako si Pune. Hindi ko ang pangat ng bosses ko ngayon. Invisibility! Go 
Well, Bob with the smoke has the onslaught onto the visage and trample is there. He can go for full price actually. Still have the stun from the familiars or actually no, wala tayong pang hassle for the visage. Familiars is already down pero Carlo with the blast of and mukhang masama pa yung blast of the end for the techies. You have Ima waiting here with the cross now by now. Charge on to Bob. We have another side for the follow up pero nice song from Palos to help out Bob. So I think they're just gonna disengage on this team fight and looking at the current net worth. Well, hindi naman dyan yung uh, Medusa. Free lane naman siya sa top lane, followed by the Nata Siren. So, uh, looking at Bob's net worth, actually, ang hirap niya pala for this game. If ikukumpara mo siya dito sa ledge, kahit na siya yung muna ako siya ng kills, but anyway, another kill will be taken. By this Primal Beast, so medyo nakahabol naman siya, pero charge from PYW and the Flash and Sun from Emo will connect. And uh, back to 1k gold is for IG. So, uh, medyo behind pa yung heroes right now, na execration, pero yung timing talaga nila is late game. Oi, si Master, eh si Master taloy, si Justo, no. Ano yung TW? Ate, te. Oi, ano yun? <laughs> well, another pause and naghihintay naman tayo. Let anong problema this time? Wala siyang sinabi. Fine. Uh, Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Uh, Dyer's top tower is under attack. Well, back to the game, well, wala pa naman na, actually, even lang yung network natin right now. Nakakahabol naman yung Naga Siren. Given na yan, he has a lot of illusions to play with. He'll go for early Manta style. And for the Medusa, Manta style din naman yung maging first item niya for this game. So, he has a lot of ancient stacks. Still, he's gonna take it. Hindi naman tayo kakontest na execution. They don't have any vision. Well, up until now, parang puro farm pa rin naman yung gagawin ng execration unless magkaroon tayo ng play around the primal beast. Pero charge will be used by PYW and it will uh, connect onto Bob. Ah, so it's just gonna cancel the charge. Wait lang guys, no how ako. Sana wala akong ma-miss out. Hello, and I'm back, and wala naman ako na mess out for this game. <laughs> Ganyan lang kabilis guys, pag na-DC yung live, sorry. But anyway, Doom will be us onto the Spirit Breaker, and uh, we do have to slow, and dyan naman yung damage from the Illusion, and PYW goes down, so that's the first time na nagagamit ng Doom dito si Tino. Worth it naman guys, sa support, at least nakakuha pa rin sila ng kill, and for Tino, he already has his uh, Vanguard, I think Midas pa rin yata yung binili niya. Yeah, he already has the recipe for Midas. So yeah, puro farm lang talaga. Yung gusto ng ngayon dito right now, nung Doom. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack! Well, another pause and ano ba lang yun for this game? Di ko alam ano problema ng IG. Pero at least kaya tapan niya na kahabol na yung Doom in term in terms of net worth kaya na nahirapan siya dito sa lane. Given na na mesh under Var and Midas, so thank you po.
Ex, eh, ginulat ang Indois. <laughs> Mga Chinese to eh. Ah, Indois kasi nasa Bali Major per se. Never mind. And then maybe we're finally back into the game. Para mas matagal pa yung post natin sa King. Also, that will be used by Bob, but this is gonna go for the hand style. It's up against four healers here at the middle lane. So, Manta style is finally up for Dust. I think the same goes for the Naga Silence. So, Nina Mansha mag defuse or blade this game instead. This is gonna go for Heart on his next item. Hello. 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 This time, IG they want to go for this first D1 tower, and actually, to palang palang yung first objective na padera mahuwa. We do have the diabolic edit for ma emo, and generally new research to um push out this tower. And for execution, they're not they're not gonna defend this tower. They're doing naman yun. Okay lang yun. You just need to play around top lane. To the impurities. Dyer's top tower is under attack. So still seven Dyer's nine at fifteen minutes, and sabran dikit pa rin naman ng game natin. And after getting my style. Butterfly yung magiging next item dito ng Medusa and actually sabarang ganda ng Butterfly this game since hindi naman MKB carrier yung Naga Siren so wala tayong way to deal with the evasion on the Medusa for execration Dyer's middle tower is under attack Uh, Dyer's top tower is under attack. Radiant's middle tower is under Hi, attack. Hi, Kia Waldo. Ang aga pa. Yes, first deal sa atin to for today. Well, sa Indonesia lang namin kasi tournament. So, same time zone sa atin. Kaya, ano na. Back to normal na tayo ulit. Uh, Radiant's middle tower is... Umaga hanggang gabi naman yung trip natin ngayon. Hindi na, oh, na gabi hanggang uh, umaga. But anyway, Sun connects on to uh, Pop. Still has on to try and run away. And Bob is gonna be fine, and for execution, uh, they're just being on the other side of the map. Wala pa na naman silang balak lumaban at this point. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Hi, Kia Waldo! Magandang umaga! <laughs> oh, Radiant's middle tower is under attack! Well, this time we're gonna have a three-man smoke play for execution. Ni pa rin naman nila kasama yung Doom, even though he has Doom. But on the bottom lane, ang mga kakasalubo nila dito is QIQX and Sun Pulverize from Bob. They have the slow end yung damage onto QIQX. They have a lot of magic damage and ayun naman yung answer mo talaga against the edge. So easy pick off lang for execution and with that kill, back to farming yun naman tayo ulit. Nakalimutan? Ano bang name mo? Ay ta, ay akala ko si Waldo. Oh, so ganyan din yung pangalan niya kay Rinaldo Ramos pala. Hello, magandang umaga. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, this time we have the 1k go lead on the side of Execration. Bob is trying to farm his BKB. Meanwhile, for Tino, I think meron na yata siyang Octarine. Ay, meron siyang Octarine. Namatay lang yata yung courier niya. Meanwhile, for IG, for Emo, already has the Bloodstone and Boots of Travel. And for the Visage, the Lactory and the Solar Crest. So, pwede tayong magkaroon ng early Roshan. Actually, kahit, uh, kahit execution, pwede na sila mag-Roshan. Kasi meron din naman tayong medal on the Clinks. 
Though mas mabilis nga lang dito yung IG But in Latin, they want to go for the smoke plane They want to catch someone Much obliged Hinalimutan, sorry, sorry Hindi ko napansin agad But enemy charge will be used on to Carlo They have the vision Carlo has a sticky bomb to slow The PYW for another strike will be used And nandito naman yung Vistarch who they have The range and the TP from the Lesh Well, Palos is finally here with the song Pero mamamatay pa rin naman si Carlo But now on to be used But nice stone gaze from Dust Connecting all the three heroes And looks like execration They're just gonna fall And ganyan lang pala kinamit ni Palos yung song Akala ka pumasok siya ng anak song But four heroes will fall And IG will take this tier 2 tower After this they can just go for Lost Shine Well, even Shang sa abut nito may shine with the charge. And Bwo Double he does have the dust and the strike is not cool, but he has the bash again onto Shang's Bwo Double. You still find just gonna use green gates, or maybe he's just waiting for another charge. Akala ko nung song yung naga pa paso. Parang galin yung animation ng game nyo. So that's a full team wipe against Execution. So 4K gold this time for IG. But after that team wipe, malaban naman silang balak magroshan. Maybe they're waiting for daytime. So Shadow Blade is finally up for the Spirit Breaker and for Visage. So they go for Agonist Scepter on this next item and Butterfly is finally up for Dust. Si Dust yung carry, di ba? So this time, they're gonna go for some damage items. They're gonna go for Daedalus and for the Lesh. Lapit na siya magkaroon ng BKB. So BKB is not yet up for Bob. All fears fade. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. So um, three go nila naman to for IG. Pero yung Rosha na naman hinihintay natin. Agin Scepter is finally up for the Visage. So pwede siya makakuha ng solo kill. And looking at the supports of Execution, masaya silang vulnerable on the Visage. Especially Kling. Si Sandas lang yung kailangan mo. You can just take him out. But Smoke Play for Execution and Rosha is already down to half HP. Oh, Dyer's Courier got killed. Are you kidding me? Oh boy, Dyer's Middle Tower is under attack. Well, Bob with the onslaught in, but we had the counter charge from BYW and now they have the control zone gates will be used by Dust and Bob goes down on the other side, Shanks. Falling low, we have the stun from the side and that's a double kill for the Ench and with this 2 it stand for execution, time for them to get out of this fight. We got the IG objective, which is the Aegis and this time around. Hindi hintay nila hindi talus on the middle. So before trying again to take another objective, actually possible na high ground push nila nila for this game. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Oh, Radiant's top tower is under attack! 
Well, this time Falas gets caught on the middle lane. We had another stack for the follow-up. Song is still available for Falas. We have another stun from Visage and Hong. We don't have any for Falas. He's just gonna go down just like that with the stun from Emo. 6k go lead for Invictus Gaming. And without an Saren, looks like another objective will be taken by IG. Parang andito na tayo sa point na wala ka nakakatakotan ng Dalesh, you have BKB, same goes for Medusa, sobrang yaman niya for this game. Even yung supports. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Radiant has fortified their structures. You know what I'm talking about? Oh boy, Dyer's bottom tower is getting hit. But we wait. Double will catch Bob on the bottom lane. Still has it up for for some slow and drop. I mean, a ward will be dropped. We have to pulverize to get the stun. But Bob and gentlemen, they stun from the familiars and that earth speeder from Emo and Bob will pop his BKB to go for the onslaught out. Well, able to survive. But City no one. Much of BKB is being chased down by Emo and blast will be used by Carla, but it will not hit anyone. Will drop the proximity mines and the W will charge your hands in the green gate play. From Bob, they have the vision that the strike will be used. Still have the control, but on not still up for Bob. Will use it immediately, and TP is still available. It's being chased out by PYW. He is here with the lightning storm for the slow, and Bob finally goes down. So that was a long team fight, but ah, but and dinaman dito si Tino find the support, and uh, the zero that in exchange of one still have the ages on Medusa. So this time we had a 7k go lead. Daedalus is finally up for dust. They still have the ages for 2 minutes. So ito na yung high ground push na hinihintay natin for IG. Oh, Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. <laughs> Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Well, the song will be used by Palos with we'll chance with we'll, uh, we'll the the charge for BAW. So, mga makakatakbo pa naman sila or jokes like, they just want to fight for uh, execution. BKB is still up for Bob now. Tina goes in with the stun on to Shang Yu and Shang Yu finally goes down. So, you should pick up for execution. And uh, for IG, Age is still up for one minute. <laughs> and Bob gets caught, we have the charge and still gonna fall. Them their structures, good work. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Jeez, Radiant's middle tower just got wrecked. The so 8k go lead for IG, age is still up for 49 seconds. So, high up and Mantri defend the excavation. They still have their fortification. Whoa, they just killed Radiant's courier. Uh, Dyer's top tower is under attack. So, what is the next item dito ni uh, Dust? I think this first sir yata. This first sir ba? Ulay, something. Ano siya demon edge na na Q? So, I think. Never mind, I'm gonna be pa hindi bibili since we're not time butterfly on palos. Pero ko demon edge niya kasi yung kailan mo dun sa item na yun. If you say. This first sir. Oh, diba demon edge then. And it's gonna go for MKB, pero this time around, execution will go for the smoke. Actually, parang one time ko parang nagigitan na gamit yung doom sa spirit breaker pa no early game pa yun. After that, ulan na tayo nakita ng doom from Tino pero tik na natin this time ko meron pa sila mahule. They're playing on this triangle pero IG is staying around the top lane maybe they're waiting for another Russian. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Oh, Dyer's carrier just got killed. Oh, Radiant's top tower is under attack. <laughs> Dyer's oh. middle tower is under attack. Oh, Radiant's top tower is under attack. Oh, Radiant's top tower is destroyed. Oh. 
to a medium matagal pa ni Roshan pero charge will be used on the bubble force at the blade may develop UAW solo loon so uh, wala naman tayong uh, attempt to take someone down for execution and this time namatay yung courier ni uh, Dust so still waiting for his MKB Roshan is still dead for 40 seconds. We're not sure kung ilan additional time yung will wait out natin for this one. Pero for the Visage, has the cloak and is trying to look for someone. Pero mga wala naman siyang mahuhuli. Charge from PYW, it will be cancelled again, and Roshan is still down for uh, 1 minute and 45 seconds. So, medyo matagal pa naman yung uh, hihintayin natin for this rush. They're just waiting for this one, but they need to win out this team fight, or maybe at least contest the Logan Roshan. Because if not, sobra nga po na for uh, IG na mahakat sa high ground dito na execution. The one minute left for Rosh this time around. IG will go for the smoke. Another server rewards will be dropped by Carlo just to get some vision and QIQX will be spotted out. Now they have the vision charge with this by PWW. Even go to the big catch as Dino. They have the stun. And mukhang wala natin magawa sa Dino for this team. Same goes for Carlo to use down instantly for execution and Palos. Still holding on to his song. No charge is there from BYW. We had this though from the defuse of the, but it doesn't matter. Ito pa rin naman yung bulldoze on BYW. So sobrang sagot lang yan. And now song will be used by Palos. Has to go for the TP out just to be safe. Pero without a song on Naga Siren, 30 seconds na lang yung kailahintay dito ng uh, IG and they can just go for this Russian. Looks like dire structures are fortified. Well, charge will be used onto the things, and Bob goes in with the onslaught, and they're gonna go for Emo PWW with that letter side to cancel this onslaught. Emo is gonna be fine, and Bob he doesn't have any spells to continue further. So back to the regional objective for IG, they're gonna go for this second Roshan, Aegis and Cheese. Yun laman ng rush yun. And for execution, without the song, without their BKB, small EBB na lang nila ulit yung uh, Roshan. Back to high ground defense, pero yung high ground execution actually sobrang hina. Well, mas silang pang clear ng creep wave or whatsoever. Wala rin silang heroes na pwede pang spam ng creeps, they only have sticky bomb. To 
So, do I may go lead for Invictus Gaming and uh, for Execution? Na masa ng choice. Di rin nila kaya lumaban outside their base. Well, Rax is already exposed. We still have fortification for execration. Man, you might as well save that energy because Radiant just fortified their structure. The Bob goes in with the onslaught, catches the pops the BKB, and we have another strike. And Bob has to turn his face away from this Medusa with the stone case. And Song will be used by Palos. They still have the control on the Medusa, but Aegis is still up. So, wala naman pakit dyan si Dust. Still gonna go for this Rax. Now, Tino goes down. And the uh, first set of Rax will be taken by Invictus Gaming. We don't have any fortifications left for execution. And HS is still up for 3 minutes. So, they still have a lot of time. Even without their ultimates. Where are you going? middle tower just got cracked. Radiant's middle barracks, huh? Radiant's middle joke. barracks are as good as gone. Oh, Radiant's middle tower is destroyed. Now they're just going straight for the zero four towers. We still have the mega. We still have the zero two at the top scene. Pero Palos goes down, Carlo with the blast up into the D5, but not going to do anything against the use of IG and now Bob. Will the Pulverize Emo is still fine, still has his BGB and does his back for his second life. Back to full mana and the uh, Shanks will be able uh, to make it. Another time, cheese on Emo. Oh, Radiant's middle tower is under attack. So 21k go lead for IG and for execution. So pero hirap na tong game na to for them. Like you're up against two creeps na upgraded. And wala pa rin silang way to deal with this Medusa. Now he has the hex. I mean, imagine yung Medusa niya. Siya pa may nastats item for this game. Knowing na hindi talaga siya mauubusan ng mana for this game. So control lang talaga yung gusto nila makuha for this one. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Well, charge will be sweeping with double this time. It's on to Harley. We have the follow up split earth and the Harley goes down. Doesn't have the buyback. Buyback for us, Harley. This a team fight then. Well, this time Dinesh will be the target. We have multiple bashes from PYW and Tino goes down. But still has his buyback now. Stone case will be used by Dust. But we have the hunter play for execution. They have the song from Palos and they're just gonna get out. But yun nga lang kung ano yung tier 2 tower nila this time around. I will just go for this tier 3 tower. Buyback will be used by Tino. Still has the room and uh... Well, that's who managed to get away, but in fact, strikes on to Bob. Bob goes down, still has his buyback, but Palos is getting controlled on the back lines. Doesn't have the song, and he doesn't have the buyback as well. And GG has been called finally. And game one will be taken by Invictus Gaming and for execution. Diba naman tapos tong series natin, this is the best two series. Tignan natin kung matapay out ba nila yung game against Invictus Gaming.
Ko alam ko ano nag problem for execution, but I think it's all about the draft. Min second pick Medusa to for IG, pero for execution, wala silang kinuha ng kahit anong hero to deal with this hero or kahit anong pang kahit man lang sana. Parang wala silang uh, masyadong naging plano for uh, this game number one. Pero tingnan natin kung makakabawas sila for game number two. Anyway, fine na tayo. May short break lang naman guys. And magbabalik tayo again after the break. And nakita kids for game number two.